Hi my angels and devils and all who may wonder here. I am Amanda Christina and I am in hospital. This is Heavenly Imaginings and yes, I broke my ankle a couple of weeks ago which is why there haven't been any videos. I did do an update video and it did nearly get uploaded but then I ran out of credit on my phone because um, it was a little big and at least on my laptop I can convert to you're not going to get very good quality because I'm on my laptop web camera and I can convert the video to a smaller file if I need to depending on how big it is um, yeah so I broke my ankle two weeks ago I've had surgery I uh, have to forgive me I'm holding this in my hands um, I'll have to figure out a way to do this it's a little more comfortable uh, yeah so I'm in hospital um, I've been moved to Shoalhaven Hospital at the moment, uh, the public hospital. Uh, yeah, the details are on my Twitter and my Facebook if anyone wants to know where I am. Uh, <laughs> yes, I went to Wollongong Hospital in a uh, sirene ambulance. It was quite an adventure. Um, lots happened. I'll probably talk to you that when I'm more about that when I'm back home and sort of more up to it. Um, I don't think hospitals are super well versed in dealing with people with mental health. Um, one of my things is I really need notice for them to kind of do things like instead of just saying we're doing this and springing it on me and sort of pushing me to do it when I'm not mentally prepared for it, um, which has happened a bit, I find that I struggle with that. It, it makes me less willing to do things because a part of having bipolar 2 and a lot of my other mental health conditions is that I do need that kind of time to get myself in the frame of mind for it. So if they say, oh, we're going to come and do this around this time um, each day or whatever, then I have time to mentally prepare for it. Whereas if they just kind of spring it on me, I'm, I, I really, really struggle with it and it kind of makes it a lot harder to deal with. I don't know if anyone else finds that, I just find it really hard, like, you know, come and talk to me about what you want to do, fine, give me some time to mentally prepare for it, but don't just spring it on me because it's just not a good experience at, at all and it makes it harder for me and I'm less, I, I have to try not to actively not to be cranky or rude to people when they just throw things at you and expect you just to go okay that's cool let's just go with it um and then usually they'll have like you know three or four different types of people come through and visit you all at once when you're going through this thing and it just it makes it really hard i am very very glad i have a room to myself here um that is the one good thing i did have about 40 stitches which came out yesterday i have a lighter cast now which is good um, my ankle is hurting a lot this morning, but they've sat me up in my bed, which is like my bed has this sitting function. Oh, it's it's the weirdest sensation, and I can't say I'm really loving it, but that is life. But this is just a very quick update because I don't have loads of net, and net is expensive. So um, it costs me about $40 for 25 gigs of net, and it only goes so far. I've been watching YouTube on and, and Twitch on low resolution so that I can stretch my net. Anyway, I will talk to you soon, my angels and devils. I hope you are well. I hope you are doing better than I am. Um, I'm here for another about six... I'm, I'm not even allowed to step on my foot, feet for about another six weeks um, because I can't load bare on my ankle until it heals. They keep saying six weeks, but it started as six weeks two weeks ago, so who knows how long their six, version of six weeks is. Anyway, I will talk to you soon. Remember, as always, you are incredible. You are amazing and you truly do matter. Bye all.